Hey everybody, happy Friday. It's time for Facebook Friday. <clears throat> Hope you guys have had a great week. Um, I told my husband I felt like I got gypped this week. We had two ice days. So the kids and my husband were home for two days and I've been sick. So I feel like I, this whole week I, I need a do over. I had a lot of things planned to get done this week and nothing got done. So it's been a week. Yeah, so we had ice, no snow, but we had ice. Um, luckily here in my area, um, we were okay. We had one kind of smallish tree come down in the back, but my friend who lives north of the city, they lost like a ton of trees just from the weight of the ice. So crazy, right? I'm glad that we escaped, but I feel bad for those. It looked like a hurricane had hit her yard. Okay. Oh, Cindy, I was like, what? what's rippling? Gypped. Yes, gypped. I got gypped. <clears throat> I was sick. Sunday, I started feeling a little like, <clears throat> what is that? My daughter said, you're getting sick. I said, no, I'm not. Well, she was right. Um, so all week, luckily I wasn't too sick, but you know, just feeling yucky. Um, and this was my week. I was going to do a lot of designing. I was going to stamp. I was going to get ahead, have things planned. You know, my fun week. And it didn't happen. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. That's how things go. And then I looked on the bright side. This is the best, better week to get sick this week than the week when I had a lot of things that, like deadlines and stuff that I had to get done. So, you know, whatever. All right. So today... Um, we're going to make three projects using the Friendly Gnomes. This is from the new spring catalog. These gnomes coordinate with the gnome dies. Now, the gnome dies were part of a bundle in the fall catalog. Can you guys remember what that was called? I can't remember. I have the catalog here, but I can't remember. What was the gnome stamp set in the fall catalog called? Friendly, friendly is no? Anyway. That stamp set retired, but the dies have carried over so that they, you can use them with this. So if you bought these in the fall, this stamp set you can get now to go with these dies. If you didn't get them in the fall, now you can buy the stamp set and you could still buy the gnomes. So kindest gnomes. They were, right, Fiona? What did I say? Did I say kindest? Kindest gnomes. And these are the friendly gnomes. <laughs> so current, current. They don't come as a bundle now. You can buy them separately. So that's what we're going to use today. Um, before we get to stamping, I have a lot of things to tell you. First, they, oh, it's February. Hello, that January flew by. Um, we have a new All-Star Tutorial Bundle. Um, subscriptions are closed now, but you can earn this for free if you spend $50 with me in February. It's also available in my PDF store for $15. It is 12 video tutorials all using the uh, country floral lane suite in the spring catalog um yes that's the punch that's on back order wah, wah. i know i can hear it but that's okay remember last week we used it we we can fussy cut hearts if we need to but it's other things too stamp sets paper embellishments um so this is available if you're a subscriber, if you subscribed last month, I emailed you this on February 1st. If you didn't get it, look in your junk folder. The first month of a subscription is always kind of weird. Everybody has to find it. A lot of my stuff goes to spam. But anyway, this is there. My project this month is a little treat with, of course, some little Debbies in there. A little has a little window, a little window box. So here it is. It's awesome. As always, has metric and imperial measurements. 12 projects by 12 different designers, all in a PDF, but they're all videos. Okay, that's that. Um, Taco Fiesta class, open for registration until the 15th, which is a week from Sunday. I've already started the die cutting. I told you guys last month this class was like the craziest, hardest class I've ever had to prep for, and then I'm doing it again. Um, so those of you who missed out in January, I it's open until the 15th of um february okay pdf is always available and the pdf for that class has a video as well um club create this month features the two-tone flora bundle this is what's today oh i'm looking at 
I'm looking at January's cal calendar. So the 15th of February is, oh, okay, what's today? The 3rd. So the 15th, almost a week and a half. So I was wrong, not a week from Saturday, week and a half. So the 7th is when this, the deadline for this, which is Tuesday. Okay, so, um, <clears throat> so if you would like to um, subscribe, um, <laughs> Kimberly, I am live. She said she missed a live, but I am live. I think I'm live. <laughs> anyway, Club Create this month is a two-tone flora uh, suite. You're going to make five uh, projects using the two-tone flora. Deadline's Tuesday. Um, Club Create kits ship on or before the 21st of each month. They are $39. They include about $20 in product and five projects, PDF, and a video, and shipping. Um, it is a subscription, and you could cancel any time. You could sign up for one month, two months, six months, stay on forever. I don't care. However you want to do it. It doesn't matter. Uh, I can't really. You're probably, like, shocked. Like, oh, my God, how is she saying my name when, when she's not live? Um, this club create. I've lost my train of thought. Okay, so you guys, foggy brain now. I'm going to have to get over that again. Um, club create... If you, if you subscribe for six months, you get a $25 product credit on your six months. So then you can get free products. So it's like a little rewards club where you get fun, um, a fun kit in the mail every month designed by me. Um, okay. Um, I'm going to flip you guys in around in a second, but I want to tell you that I have a class that I wanted to get out on the first. It's ready. I'm just waiting for the PDF to be proofread and my proofreader is going to read it Today, she's on vacation, but she's taking time on vacation to proofread it for me. So I will open this class up for registration <coughs> um, in just a day or two. It is my Easter Bunny class. Bunnies and Carrots is what I'm calling it. Bunnies and Carrots. It features both the Easter Bunny stamp set and the Thanks a Bunch stamp set. Um, so look for that. It's not going to be open, but maybe two weeks because Easter we've, you know, we got a time frame. So, um, I have to get it out to you. So you have time to make them before Easter. So be looking for that. I will send an email once it's open for registration. There will be a PDF option as well. That one does not have a video. Okay. All right. And then a little sneak peek for my club create members, March club create. How are we always, I'm seeing something floating around. So I'm like poof of something. Did you guys see that? Um, <laughs> I apologize for the coughing. It's going to happen. There's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> I just recorded um, the video for this class and the whole time I was like, oh, stop. Don't, you know, you like try to psych yourself out. Like, okay, I'm not going to cough. I'm not going to cough. And you can feel it coming. Anyhow, Club Create for March is the rain or shine suite of products. Now this is, I'm going to have a caveat on this. We're having a weird back order inventory issue right now and I think it's partially because of Chinese New Year or Lunar New Year or whatever they call it Chinese New Year right it doesn't sound right I'm, I'm sorry if I'm, if I'm not saying it right but anyway over in Asia they have this thing where they just shut down for like three weeks so that delays a lot of our products that um then go on back order for a long time this stuff isn't on low inventory right now nothing but if something happens and it does go on back order, low inventory before the deadline for Club Create, before I can order, then we'll have to switch to something else. My backup would be the motorcycle suite, just because I have projects designed for that, okay? So just letting you guys know, Club Create, it's always with a little asterisk in case it doesn't sell out. But this is what March Club Create will be. It's so cute. I'm in love with the paper. Mango Melody is one of my favorite colors. And <coughs> they don't use, Stampin' Up! doesn't use Mango Melody very much. There's, it's never in DSP. There's never very many embellishments. Um, so when this came out and it had Mango Melody in it, I was really excited. So anyway, Club Create. If you're already a member of Club Create, I didn't say it's on back order or sold out, you guys. <laughs> don't go telling everybody I said that. I'm just saying if it were to 
go on back order or sell out, I would have to switch my Club Create to something else because we can't make those projects without the paper, especially. Okay. So, but right now, I mean, it's fully stocked. Plus, um, this next month's uh, Paper Pumpkin coordinates with that stuff. So they may have overstocked so, because they knew it would be popular. I don't know. I have no insider information. I have no idea. Um, okay. So that is for March. If you want that one, don't subscribe until February 8th. If you're already a subscriber, you don't have to do anything. You're already registered in the club and everything, okay? Um, that's that, all right? <laughs> I'm gonna switch you guys around. And today, I gotta do some zooming in. So you just hold on. I told you I was gonna get the fancy software. We were gonna do that, but you know what? The fancy software doesn't really even allow you to zoom in the one that I was gonna use. So I don't know. I think I might just stay old school for a little while longer. I sure hope the internet at my new house is really good because if it's not, it's gonna be a problem. I'm gonna to have to get, you know, when you, when you move, everything's new, you know, new to you. Does the internet work? Does a, does a cable work? You know, I'm, I'm nervous about that because internet's very important to my job. Okay, here we are. So celebration part two. Um, I had no idea this was coming. They didn't tell us. It was like, boom, surprise. We have all new celebration items. Now we still have the other celebration items. Nothing that I know of in this catalog. Hold on, let me get it for the visual. Nothing in this catalog that I know of has sold out. You can still pick these amazing things if you haven't gotten the, all the things that you want. But if you have and you are going to continue to shop in February, you get something free with every $50 or $100. <coughs> so these are the things that they added to your options. There's two kits. I ordered these to have to show you today. And because of the ice storm in Memphis, my order is delayed. I paid overnight and didn't get here. So I'll have it next week to show you. But these two kits are cute. They have little, just really cute things. Ribbon, these two embossing folders. I love both of these in the Into the Clouds in the Hive 3D embossing folder. Um, the Essential Tag Punch is essential. Everyone should have that. The Songbird Builder Punch has a stamp set that coordinates with it. It's awesome. The Enjoy the Journey DSP love that. And the new um, masks. I have these masks. I haven't even opened them. I need to open them and play with them so you guys can see what they do. And then for $100, the e Eden's Garden Bundle, which is a really generous amount of product to get free with $100. So when you <clears throat> order online, it'll prompt you to pick your celebration items. Um, you'll see them mixed in so that you can pick um, something new if you don't want something that's in here. Now, the other part of that uh, celebration is this this cute little machine. If you look in the back, hold on, I have, a, I have a flyer right here. If you look in the back of your celebration catalog, here's all the details. I'm just gonna run through real quick. The starter kit, you have three options. The first two are $129. You get the Boho Blue Mini, um, cut and emboss machine plus $175 in product of your choice and free shipping. Option two, same exact thing except the machine is white. Option three, or for those of you that don't need another machine in your life, but you want $175 in product for $99, that would be option three. When you buy the starter kit, you're then a demonstrator, which means two things. You can be your own customer right? You can just be a happy shopper where you are getting your discount and taking advantage of all the amazing things there are to be a demonstrator. You don't have to do Facebook Live. You don't have to do a party, a workshop, a class, nothing. That's option number one. Option number two is you can do all those things or some of them or one of them or half of them, whatever. It, that's the thing about being a demonstrator. You decide what you want it to be for you. Okay, so those are your options right there. You also will get, um, you would be on my team, you get my PDFs for free, classes at a discount. We have monthly online team meetings and in-person team meetings. We have monthly swaps, creative challenges. Right now we're 
having a, fi a fiesta challenge, celebration fiesta challenge, all kinds of fun stuff. So if you're interested, I have a tab at the top of my blog that says join. You can click that and then you can look at the back of your celebration catalog. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to show you guys something and I hesitated to show you because it's going to create some confusion. Um, next month in March, we have something coming called online exclusives. This is a new thing that Salmon Up's going to do. They're going to vary products. Um, there will be a catalog and then skip a month and then the next month there will be new product online. Skip a month and there will be a catalog. Skip a month online only products. You know, they're going to introduce new products in different ways, online only. So demonstrators, one of the perks of being a demonstrator is you get to order early of those things. So I ordered all of this stuff so that you guys could see it. Of course, it's not here. And they're telling us that this is just some of what's coming on March 1st. There's going to be a bunch of new stuff over there. I was like, come on, taco dies, taco dies. And there's no taco dies. I guess we're not getting taco dies, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> we've made do, right, with our paper snips. Um, but anyways, the reason I'm showing you this now, you can't order this as a customer right now unless you buy the starter kit. If you buy the starter kit in February, you can add these things to your starter kit, okay? So I just want you guys to know that that's an option. If you decide to buy that starter kit that I just showed you, where you get the, the machine, $175 in product. This is some of the stuff that you can get. There's a new bundle right here <coughs> called Hello Irresistible. Some beautiful paper, um, loose frosted dots, some paper, three amazing embossing folders, and classic letter stamp set. So I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail because I you guys can't order it yet. There's a QR code on here. It doesn't work yet. It's not live yet. So demonstrator pre-order or addition to the starter kit. Just a little tidbit, because I know you're gonna see it online. Some people are showing it. I don't like to necessarily show product until you can buy it, but I thought you guys might want to see that if you've been thinking about the starter kit. I wanted you to know that there were options. Um, also, <coughs> oh, the cost. Also, there's a new kit in our kits section online. It's this adorable wreath kit, it is only $13. All right, so if you're looking, I ordered that too, and it's not here. So hopefully next week I'll have it for you so you can see it. $13. That's a really cheap kit. All right, we're done. I'm ready, okay? <laughs> Welcome to Facebook Friday, all of you. I'm so glad you're here. Like I mentioned at the beginning, we are doing um, the kindest gnomes. Wow, uh, that's really zoomed in. Okay, well, that's going to have to just stay up. Here's this week's host code. Facebook Friday, I pick one product and make three projects with it. This week, like I mentioned, is the friendliest, friendly gnomes, not kindest, friendly. They're not kind, they're only friendly. Um, if you like these projects, I will send them to you for free as a make and take kit. Um, next week, um, all you have to do is put in an online order that is over $35 and uses this host code. Now, during celebration, you really should bump it to 50 so that you get another free thing from Stampin' Up. Um, but here's the host code. I'm going to move this out of the way because I'm zoomed in so much today. But over at my on my blog at pinkbuckaroo.com, the, the host code is right here on this free PDF. It's also at the bottom of today's post. And when I'm done with this video, I will edit it with the host code in the description, okay? You have to use the host code so that I know that you want the projects. If you put in an order and you don't use the host code, I'm gonna think you don't want the projects. Unless <coughs> your order is over $150, don't use the host code, because you get more free stuff, stamp and rewards, and I will still send you the make and takes, okay? All right, so your deadline for that is Monday at midnight. Here's all the stuff I talked about. This is free, it has all the measurements and the supply list. We talked about that, we talked about that, and we talked about that. Okay, the last thing is prizes. Last week, my random winner, I chose somebody from YouTube this week. I go back and forth between YouTube and Facebook. Angie Becerra. I don't think I have your mailing address. Congratulations, thank you for sharing my video. If you would like me to uh, send this to you, please email me your mailing address. All right. Hey, and you know what, last week's winner, hasn't emailed me yet. Let me get it. Julia Torres. You were last week's winner. Julia. Calling Julia. Email me, Julia, so I can send this to you, okay? 
All right. Today, this week's prize, I've got two prizes this week. Way to grow. Isn't this a funny stamp set? I just think it's funny. <laughs> um, if you would like the stamp set, all you have to do is share the video either on Facebook or YouTube, write in the comments that you shared, and you'll be entered to win. Yay! Okay, now, we are ready. I'm going to just bring my Diet Coke over. Hold on. Because I'm, I'm going to need to drink it a lot today while I am talking with this cough. You guys, last January, uh, oh, this is not what we're doing first. Last January, I had the same thing, which I will not mention what the thing is that I had, you all know. Um, and I was not very sick this time. My body was like, oh yeah, okay, I remember this, I gotcha, which is nice. And now the clock ticks for my family, <laughs> see if they get sick. Hopefully not, but you never know. That's the way it goes. All right, my friends. Uh, Joan, your son has the thing. Is he very sick? It's so weird to me how it affects everybody so differently. This time, truly, it was just a cold. Really just a cold. Not much more than that. Okay, friendly gnomes, like I mentioned before, you know, I have the holiday catalog just sitting right here randomly. This was in the holiday catalog, these dies. I have no idea what page it was on. Um, kindest gnomes, page 43. I loved this set. Now, I know some of you may not like gnomes. That's okay. I'll forgive you. <laughs> I love gnomes. I have them as decorations. I have Gnome Valentine decorations, gnome Easter decorations, gnome Halloween decorations, gnome Christmas decorations. I love them. Um, but now it's not a bundle. You can buy them separately. Um, you won't see the dyes. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have gotten Diet Coke. I should have gotten water because now I'm going <clears> to <throat> I'm gonna have a different problem. Um, in the back of the catalog somewhere, it has the gnome. It has all the things that carried over. Are they here? Is it not here? What? They're not listed on here, are they? Okay, okay, I'm a liar. So it's got to have it on the gnome page, doesn't it? Whatever, I put the, the item number on today's supply list so that you can easily find it, okay? Oh, look how cute that stamp set is. <laughs> it's so cute. Um, please don't make me look at the, the page number. I guess I'm going to have to. Page number. Oh, it's like asking for directions. Um, friendliest gnomes are on the page. I've looked them up several times, and you would think I would remember. 40 <laughs> on the other side. Um, okay, so here. It says right here. <coughs> so it says web. That means they're online only. They're not in the catalog. Um, so if you get these and you don't have the dies, make sure you get the dies. So we're going to color with Stampin' Blends. Where are my Stampin' Blends? Where are they all over here? They're supposed to be over here. This first card we're going to make is simple. Um, and I'm just looking. No aches, pains, headache. Good. That's good, Joan. Um, way to grow set. I know. I'm not sure about it either, Jan. We're going to have to play with it and see how we like it. Um, I feel like the girl's not curvy enough <laughs> in that set. So I don't know. I don't think they gave her enough justice. She's she's just very like a you know straight. All right. Anyhow, I divert. I di I diverge. I what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, who knows? All right. This was a swap card that I did with my team um, last month. Was this? Yeah, this was a team swap. I did it for a swap. I think it was my team. Um, I wanted to do something Valentine-ish, but not necessary, not necessarily Valentine's, right? So it it's got the hearts. It's got um, the cute country. What's it called? Country Lane Floral Designer Series paper. Um, but it doesn't say, you know, Happy Valentine's Day specifically. Now it could, you could change it, or the, you know, 
I love you. My kids, you know, when they were younger and they would do the Valentine stuff at school, they didn't want anything mushy gushy. It had to be very generic, right? So I thought there's no one better than you would be good for a very platonic Valentine card. All right, so Balmy Blue, I did Balmy Blue Light. I'm gonna blend all this over. So there's kind of a shadow on the left side. I went with Balmy Blue because the colors in this Country Lane Designer Series paper are Sweet Sorbet, Balmy Blue, and uh, I don't know what else, I just stopped there. <laughs> um, I think, um, I think there is some soft sea foam, maybe. I don't know. I was just going with the balmy blue and the, and the sweet sorbet. It's really cute paper. That's the paper that I'm using on this card. There's also the gingham paper, which, by the way, is on low inventory. So if you need the country gingham paper, order it today because it's going to go on back order soon, probably unless they get a shipment in. Um, and then who knows how long it'll be before it comes back in. Now, sometimes they have already, like they set up the orders way back in the fall and they were like, hey, we want an order on February 12th, March 12th, you know, and that's good. But if not, who knows? Now I'm making his beard crumb cake. I added a little bit of the dark crumb cake in there for shadow. For his nose and his little hands, I'm just going to use Petal Pink. Oh, I didn't go far enough down. Let's go down. He's got, it kind of looks like he's got some pajamas on or something. Maybe this right here. And then we will do soft suede shoes. Like that. And last but not least, we're going to use Dark Sweet Sorbet. Sweet Sorbet is one of my favorite colors. It's kind of a strawberry color, kind of not watermelon. It's not, it's, I don't know. It's a bright red. It's very similar to Poppy Parade. But when you put the two together, Poppy Parade is more um, intense if you will. It's more, um, what would you say? I can't think of that word. It's more, hmm. See, words are escaping me. I don't know. It's, it's just more potent Poppy Parade, but, but Sweet Sorbet is like the, the little sister of Poppy Parade. And I love it. All right. Matching dies. No fussy cutting. By the way, I meant to mention, and I will make a little video of that carrot and bunny class. There's a lot of fussy cutting in that class because there's no dies. There, you know, the carrots don't have dies. And then the bunny stamp set has a lot of images. And there's only one that uses the punch. So if you hate fussy cutting, then maybe that's not necessarily the class for you. I know there's other solutions that you could use. So I'll just leave that there for you. But it's a really cute class and it's not necessarily um, Easter specific. It can be, or it can just be springish, a springy class. But that'll come out sometime this weekend. All right, so we're putting a piece of designer series paper just on a basic white mat. I have cut the bottom edge of this basic white piece with the, the small scallop border from the penned flower um, dies. Is that right? Penned flower dies. And we're going to just put this here. You know, when I make a swap card, it's got to be relatively simple. I don't like a whole lot of fuss with swap cards. Um, so this is one of those, oh, that's really dusty. Look at that. Wow. All right, we're using the backside and I'm not doing that. 
Um, I need my verse mark, which I don't see, so we'll go with base or uh, craft white. Um, so this card, like I mentioned, was a. Ooh, this is scaring me. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Stamp it over on the right side of your basic white banner. It's juicy. I tried to re-ink it. You know, that, that pad is either too juicy or not juicy enough. There's no in-between. Can never quite get it right. Now, your embossing buddy, you want to use it to release any of those little things that stick. And I just was way too heavy-handed on that side. I always think I want it to look chalky, you know, like a um, chalkboard. And so I always, brr, 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 like that. And that's not necessarily what you want every time. Anyways, so swap card. This is a swap card. Kept it simple. If you need to make multiples of a card, this is a good one for you. Okay. All right, let's put it all together. I have a basic white stylish shape circle. You know, when I type up the PDFs every week, I take the last week's PDF and I duplicate it, right? And then I edit it. And I have found that I use these dies, the stylish shape dies, pretty much every week. They are my favorite dies. I love them. You've got circles, you've got banners. They're awesome. What else? Circles, banners, and squares, right? Yeah. No ovals. Okay. Man, I didn't think I was that foggy, but now that I'm talking to you guys, I'm like, I can't recall information. Ugh. Or maybe that's just me on an everyday basis. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put it on Sweet Sorbet card base. Hi, Nathan. Hi, Stacy. Glad you guys have joined us. Sorry, everyone who joined while I was making this card and I wasn't looking and I didn't say hello. Hello, everyone. I try not to look at comments too much because I get very distracted. But also, Facebook does something um, really weird and not showing me the comments. Oh, who said... Um, <coughs> pretty peacock um oh denise so that paper that i showed you guys at the beginning has some new colors in it and the embellishments and they are i mean if you start a if, yes i can tell you they are lost lagoon and pretty peacock you guys like pretty peacock huh like i do not like pretty peacock and i see everybody freaking out online about pretty peacock i'm like mm, it was not one of my favorites i don't even remember lost lagoon i had to look that up it's kind of a denim blue maybe like a dull grayish denim -y blue um they're they're teasing us they haven't told us officially but they're teasing us that these are colors coming back we don't know how they're coming back, when they're coming back, why they're coming back. But they said, check back on March 1st for more details. So maybe on March 1st, we'll find out. Okay, I added a sweet sorbet twine bow and some matte black dots. I love this pack of just black dots. You can just use black dots on a lot of things. Okay, let me see. Lisa, you like Pretty Peacock. Kathy loves it. Lisa loves it. Um, so, Patty Ann, you agree with me about Pretty Peacock? You don't see what the deal is? Um, Carla, I just heard rumors like everybody else about a color refresh. That's all I've heard. Um, I feel like it is coming, um, but I don't know. Um, which, Stacy? which dies are, oh, yes, the stylish shape dies are on back order. I know. I was going to order another set. And they're on back order. It's the whole thing with the, the Chinese New Year. This time of the year, our back orders are really long because of that whole situation over there. Everything kind of just shuts down for... They get to like take like three weeks off of work. That's what I'm talking about. 
We need to start celebrating that over here. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing we take three weeks off for. Nothing. Okay, let's do our next card. Now, I showed a card, and I don't know where it is. What did I do with that card? This week on my blog, I showed a card that was a fun fold. Well, darn it, I don't know where I put it. Anyways, I said that I would show you how to make it later on in the week during Facebook Friday. And so that, that's what I'm going to do right now. And who can tell me what this fun fold is called? Because I don't know. Does anybody know? Does it have a name? It's like a tunnel card, but it's not really. And it folds down flat. Isn't that fun? It, fit, it will fit in an envelope. I have no idea what it's called, but I am sure somebody will tell us. Um, yeah, Kimberly, they do know that, but they also don't know what's going to sell out, what's going to get crazy. You know, they, there's no way truly predicting what's going to take off and what's going to sell out, what's going to be super popular. All right, we're going to make the base of this card first, and I need my Simply Scored step card, Lisa, you think? Oh, you know what? I didn't think about it being that way because I have seen that. Yeah, I think maybe you're right. What do you guys think? Step card. Um, The paper on that, are you talking about this one right here? Whoever asked me that? Um. This paper right here, that is from the Country Lane, Country La Country Floral Lane in the spring catalog, not the gingham paper. Now here, we're going to use the Country Floral Lane paper and the gingham. They go together. All right. Now remember, guys, everything is on this PDF. So if you go over to pinkbuckaroo.com and get this PDF, everything is on here. All the supplies and all the measurements. So if you're, if I don't mention it, if you missed it, just go over there. It's on the PDF. All right, four and a fourth by nine and a half soft suede. We're going to score it at five and a half, six and a half, eight, and nine. And then we've got this other piece of soft suede that measures three by five. And we're going to score it at, let me look at my notes, half and one and a half, okay? Now for this card, I decided to bring in something else that carried over from the holiday catalog. The um, tree ring, no, that dimensional, you don't need to go there. The tree ring hybrid embossing folder and dies. All right, so we're gonna make a little tree ring behind her. But first, fold in all your score lines like that. <coughs> And then we've got a piece of this designer series paper, country lane, country floral lane, country lane floral. One of those. We're gonna put that right there. And then this is gonna fold in like this, okay? Like a little tunnel, all right? And so we're gonna put DSP right here. And if I haven't lost it, here it is. This is, this is the same pack of paper right here. It has a really cute print in it that has bicycles on it too. I haven't used that yet. All right, now I'm gonna put adhesive down this end, all right? And if I do this the right way, let me make sure I'm doing it right the right way. If I lay it down like that, it will be exactly where it needs to be. See how I laid it down, I folded it there, and then boom, it's exactly where it needs to be. All right, so then we have this other piece. What, I'm missing the comments. Lost Lagoon is very pretty. Yeah, it is, it's green. Yeah, I just don't, I'm not a big fan. Did I not score the, the right soft suede? What is this? Why do I need this? This is the wrong piece. <laughs> We're gonna use that in a minute. I scored the wrong piece. Three by five, scored at half and one and a half. All right. If I was making a YouTube video, I would just edit that right on out. 
All right, so fold those two score lines, put your gingham paper right here. And then we're going to adhere this like that, okay? So I'm gonna put adhesive here and here. All right, so now I'm gonna kind of eyeball it and see exactly where I want it. Do I, yeah, I think I want it about there. And then I can just lay it down and press. Okay, so there you go. And I have taped a piece of my hair in there too. <laughs> Nobody wants that. All right, so there's our card. Now let's make all of our other stuff. Let's do our little girl. We're gonna stamp her in Memento Black. Um, I think of Lost Lagoon as a coast pool party cousin. Yeah, that's 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 a good way to look at it. You know, I I remember it with the other colors it came out with, and they were all very like dark kind of rich colors and so maybe I need to remove that from my mind and see it differently with other colors and I'll think differently about it we'll see time will tell all right this time for this little girl we are going to use sweet sorbet for her hat she's so cute she's just peeking out of her hat and I'm going to use light sweet sorbet. Sweet sorbet is the color that I have been using on all of my little chili peppers. I did a special presentation for a friend, friend's team this week with all new Taco Fiesta projects. They are so cute. And I will show them to you guys eventually. Um, but I am also saving them for a special team event. I'm still coming up with ideas for a taco fiesta. All right. So now add some of that dark color over there like that. Oh, I just drew all over myself. Now, if you look real closely at her image, I couldn't really tell exactly what's going on here with her clothes. I think she has like an apron on, I think. Or a dress with a little, what do they call it? Like a pinafore or a, you know, a little like vest. So that's how I'm coloring it. You have to really look closely to figure out what's going on with her outfit. So I'm coloring that part of it sweet sorbet. And then I'm going to get light balmy blue. And color in the shirt underneath that but I'm gonna it has a cute little white call a little like scallop collar so we're gonna leave that white and then the sleeves have scallop also I'm gonna leave that white but I'm gonna do her shoes balmy blue okay and then we'll do her face I'm just gonna make it easy and stick with petal pink so how are you guys, how is your weather where you're, you are? It was the big winter blast this week. And now I heard up in New York, they're talking about it. it's coming. We had it. It was cold and icy and I loved it because we never get that weather enough. So hopefully it did cause damage. I said, I mentioned at the beginning, my, one of my friends who lives north of San Antonio lost, she has a huge, she lives on like three acres and they have dozens of oak trees and it looked like maybe a hurricane had come through. The trees were just snapped in half. It's awful. Um, I did um, crumb cake on her hair. I'm adding just a little bit of dark in there for the shadows. Um, if you guys need to see this closer up or just, just so that you know, there is a clean recording, an individual recording of each of these projects over on YouTube so that you can, if you want to come back and watch them or if you can't, because I can't zoom in a whole lot on Facebook Live, but over on those videos, if you really want to see how I'm coloring, 
you can I zoom in on those when I edit them so that you can see. And they're on YouTube. They're also linked on under the photos on today's post. Um, let's see, Ashley. We had ice two kids were out of school for three days. Ugh. Generator kicked in a couple of times, Denise. Yay! <laughs> Denise, you've been waiting on that generator, haven't you? After the snow apocalypse that we had here a couple of years ago, everybody freaked out and started buying generators. We bought one and haven't used it. Um, but after living four or five days with no electricity and no water, you get motivated to buy a generator. Okay, so here are the tree rings. It, it annoys me that they call it the tree rings hybrid, 3D hybrid embossing folder because there are dies too. And it doesn't say that. It should say hybrid embossing folder and dies. So it comes together like this. And you can just use the embossing folder like that. Or you can put this in here like this. And it will cut out the circles and emboss them at the same time. Now you're going to need this plate right here. We're going to run that through. We're going to do it in soft suede and crumb cake, All right? And you only need one of these. All right, so lay that back down. I'm not reading. What are you guys saying about your weather? Sunny and cold here in Illinois. Negative five degrees, Carla. That is not good. Okay, what am I doing wrong? Right here. Goes like this. Yes. <laughs> Hello. Negative five degrees. I don't even know. You know, our lowest temperature here in San Antonio, they said on the news the other day, because it had been 75 years since the lowest we've ever been, it was zero. We've never gone below zero here. Now, during the snowpocalypse of 2021, <laughs> we did get down to like five. But we are not prepared for those kind of temperatures here. I know, oh, Illinois, I know it gets so cold there, Michigan. My husband's going to Minneapolis next week, and I am seeing you guys up there in Minneapolis. You're so cold. He, like, checks it every day and gives me an update. Oh, now they're saying it's going to be negative six. And then the next day, now they're saying it's, <laughs> he just can't. He, I think he gets a little excited about it. Okay, so now we've got these tree rings. And I didn't point this out to you guys, but I took some time um, with these dies and I labeled them so that I would know exactly one, two, three, four, five, right? So then I numbered these so I would know how to line that line it up, but not necessarily just for this. These other dies that come with it cut out the middle part and I put little dots and you can hardly even see it now. I put, so like this one goes with number five. So I put five dots inside that. So I know that that cuts out number five. All right, <clears throat> um, just to kind of help you, um, because it is kind of tricky to get them. And I forgot to cut this one out. Um, it's tricky. Did I do, which one did I do in the back? I guess it doesn't matter. It's tricky when you have these to turn, turn, turn. And then, you know, is the, is the tree ring upside down? I don't know. So if you take the time one time to figure it all out, get your Sharpie and just label it all. Then the next time you don't have to figure it all out again. And the, the skinny, the little skinny dies are so skinny. I couldn't write the numbers in them. So then I just put like dots, like two dots. That's number two, three dots, number three. Um, okay. So now we have this tree ring and we're going to just Put the other tree ring in the middle of it right there. All right, the wood slice tree ring. Now, let's get some grid paper. And I have all these other little pieces if I haven't already lost them. Oh no, I was prepared. Look, I put them in a little bowl. All right, you're gonna need to cut out several soft sea foam grass pieces, four. And then you're going to need three stems and three 
um, little mushroom tops from Petal Pink. And then get your blending brush. And I am really loving these um, small, these new small blending brushes. Hold on, I gotta get my ink pad from this other tray. Um, I just really like them. They're, I, they, I don't know. It just feel easier. Like I have better control of them. All right, so run it off on your grid paper and then just kind of add some color to the top of it. All right, you guys see how that looks? Just a little, gives it a little something, something. Okay, like that. All right. Oh, come on, comments. Southwest Florida candy. Go, go to timeout candy for making us all super jealous. 81. Oh, I saw something on Florida yesterday and I was like, we need to go to Florida for vacation this summer. <laughs> oh, it looked heavenly. I love Florida. If I was to live anywhere else, that's exactly where I would like to live. Okay, focus, focus. We're going to put these grasses on. Did I put these on with dimensionals? I did not. So let's use some glue because we're adding a lot of stuff here. Thanks for the share, Sandy. I appreciate it. So put a little bit of glue. A lot. A, a dot is a lot, as I told my kindergartners. I haven't said that in a long time. A dot is a lot. Don't overdo it. You'll be sorry. I'm going to flip this one over. It's not as cute on the back side, but that's okay. We want the grass going the other way. All right, so we've got that. Now let's get our little girl. She's gonna be standing there. And now we will add in our little mushroom stems. We're gonna do one long and one short and it's gonna be kind of facing out. And then I'm gonna do one long one over here. All right, and then we're gonna just put mini dimensionals on the tops. That's gonna to help those, those little stems stay on also. And then grab your little mushroom tops and put them on. Aren't they so cute? Come on, pink mushrooms. Who doesn't love a pink mushroom? It's very cute, if I do say so myself. Okay, so now <clears throat> that stamp that I got all messy and gushy a minute ago is the stamp that I need. So hold on while I clean it. Oh, and of course I have half a paper towel. That's all I have left. I don't like to put my craft ink on my my um chamois. I don't like doing that because it makes it cloudy and then it gets on the other stamps and but I'm gonna have to. All right, where's our banner? You know, things are crazy by the time I get to this point. I don't know where anything is. I don't know where I am, who I am. <laughs> Okay, we're using the same sentiment. There were several choices, but I stuck with the same one because I like it. There's no one better than you. Okay, so on the back of this card, you know, it folds down flat. So on the back, you could put just a four by five and a fourth piece right here. You could write your message. You could do some other stamping, add another gnome if you want. But we don't have time for that. So we're just going to go for it with this. And leave it, leave you a lot of space so you have to write a lot of words. Don't you hate that? Oh, I forgot to color her flower. You guys didn't tell me. I know somebody was probably, you forgot to color the flower. I'm just going to do it balmy blue. Okay. And then let's get that banner again. Stylish shapes. Yeah, they're on back order for a long time. You should have already bought them. I told you guys, these are the best dies in the whole catalog. <laughs> I have several sets of them so I can cut multiples at once. That's how much I love it. Okay, now we're going to have to readjust. 
sister, you, you move over a little bit. Now, the one thing about this is it can't stick out further than this right here, or it won't fit in your envelope. So lay it down and make sure. And then we can adjust her like that. Of course, she can't go over the edge either. There we go. Okay, last but not least, a linen thread bow. I think she probably needed to be a little lower on her wood slice, right? Look, yeah, she needs to be lower. Let's go down a little bit. Oh, come on, don't be difficult now. What is happening? I swear, dimensionals get stronger the longer they are stuck. If you put a dimensional down the wrong place, you can easily pull it up. But if you wait any time at all, 30 seconds, three days, and you try to pull that dimensional off, it is the strongest adhesive. Okay, mini glue dot. Linen thread, boom. Done. Fancy fold. So did we all agree with Lisa that this is a step card? Is that what it's called? If somebody knows differently, you better you better tell us so that I don't call it a step card and somebody say that's not what it's called. I think Lisa's right. Now that I, because I wasn't thinking of it this way, I see a lot of cards like that. We did it sideways. That card that I told you, you need to go back a couple of days on my blog, you'll see it. It has that favored floral designer series paper that we used last week. Okay, we've got one more project. What time is it? 2.57, okay. We've got one more project. And step card, Denise says step card too. Okay, I'm going with step card. Nobody's correcting us, Lisa, so we're going for it. Okay, funny story about this. Here's what we're making. We're gonna use these dies, the new Something Fancy dies, and I've already cut them out, but the Something Fancy tag dies are an amazing set of dies. You need them. We're also using the Conversation Bubble dies. This is two sets, because you guys know I mass produce, so I have to sometimes buy two. Um, we're using that as well. Funny story, um, these are little, like, literally, like, bite-sized Reese's, um, uh, Rice Krispie Treats. They're in the Valentine section. They're, like, for kids to give out at school. I bought the box. I took my daughter. She had a tennis tournament on Friday. Took her to Walmart to get, you know, snacks and food and stuff. Well, she bought every junk food she could get her hands on. So when we got home, she went to put it all away, and I had bought these. Well, then I kind of find them. Well, she put them in with all her stuff. So I don't have the box anymore. And I almost didn't have three left <laughs> to make these projects. So that, I can't show you the box, but they're in the Valentine section. I've seen them at Target. I've seen them at Walmart. We're using the heart from Share a Milkshake right here. And we're using the hello from Conversation Bubbles. Okay, let's make our little box first. We're gonna, we're gonna stamp the hearts on these. Actually, we just need to do one. We'll just do the front. And sweet sorbet. Man, I hope I have enough sweet sorbet for all these make and takes. We've used a lot of sweet sorbet. And really, you just need to do them around the edge because everything else is going to be covered up by our cute little gnomes. Okay? All right. So now... You're gonna get this little piece of cardstock. And remember, it's on the PDF. Grab your Simply Scored. And it's six and a fourth by two and a half. And on the long side, we're gonna do two and a fourth by <coughs> um, four. Two and a fourth and four. Score it two and a fourth and four. And then score it at half and two. This is a real simple U-shaped box that you're not really going to see a whole lot of. So I'm not going to worry too much about it being perfect because um, really all you see, really you just see those sides, okay? Um, before I snip those score lines, I'm going to take my 
tear and tape and run it down like this. And I'm gonna peel them off and then snip those score lines because that way I only have to peel off two adhesive backs. But if I was to do this after I snipped these lines, then I would have to peel off six. You know what I'm saying? Just simplify things a little bit. All right, so then you're just gonna fold this up into a U. It doesn't matter if the sides go in, the sides go out, it doesn't matter. It's gonna be covered up, okay? So now get your square or your tags and we're just gonna set it down in there. You want it to be lower than that scallop right there. You want it to be not sticking out on the sides or the bottom, okay? And then we'll get this one and we'll lay it on there. Before you press it in, make sure it's, this one looks like it needs to scoot over a little bit. Sometimes it takes a few tries to get it right. That looks good. Okay, so now I'm just gonna punch some holes in here. The dies have these little dies that you could put in the tag dies that will punch a little hole or cut a little hole that's way cuter than this, but we're just going simple. And I changed my ribbon. My original ribbon was the seam binding, but I decided yesterday to switch it to the organdy ribbon. I like the way it looks a little bit better. Okay, come on. So then that's just a little switch up. I don't know which one you'll get in your kit, depending on what I have in my ribbon drawer. Okay. Thanks for sharing, Tammy. All right, cut that off. Let's tie a little bow. And then we're gonna do some more coloring. I'm using the same little gnome we used on the first project, only because I designed these all at different times and I wasn't really thinking about trying to use all of the stamps. So if you wanna vary it, you could use different gnomes if you want on each project. Okay, so there we go. Now, if you don't want to do Rice Krispie Treats, fill it up with whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Here's my Versamark. All right, we're going to do Hello in Versamark. The question now is, what did I do with the embossing powder? Hmm, where is it? Now, wait a minute. Where did it go? <laughs> Here it is. I'm like, seriously, it totally disappeared. Okay, boop, boop, got that done. And then let's hit that with a heat tool real fast. Thanks, Linda. Valentine's kind of snuck up on me. Next Friday will be our last Friday before Valentine's, right? Um, yeah. So next Friday, we're gonna do the Love Cats. Got some really cute things planned for next week. Okay, so you've got a stitched circle. Look, another stylus shape die. We're gonna stamp the little mushroom house right there. Okay, and then we're gonna get that gnome from earlier. Stamp him on a scrap piece of white. Now, this is where I brought in the um, soft sea foam. I'm going to color his little pajamas or whatever, his elf suit. I don't know what he's wearing. <laughs> Looks like a, a onesie. Um, we're going to color that in with soft sea foam. And then we're going to come over here and do all the grass. You know what I forgot to do on the first project was, did I add Wink of Stella to the heart? It totally elevates the project big time. I don't know why, but the sparkly heart's super cute. We need to go back and do that. We're gonna add some Week of Stella on this project too. Okay, there's that. What color did I do as hat? Sweet Sorbet. So we will again with the light. Now every week I ask you guys if you have a new show that you've found to binge. We've found nothing. We started watching season three of His Dark Materials and 
I remember why I didn't want to watch it because I don't like that show. It bores me. So I don't recommend. My husband likes it. Um, it has Lin-Manuel Miranda in it. My husband's obsessed with him. So, of course, we have to watch anything with Lin-Manuel in it. My husband is a Hamilton obsessed person. I mean, I can't, I can't, I can't even. He knows every single word to every Hamilton song, every whispered word in the background. He is, he loves Lin-Manuel. But anyway, so his Dark Materials... I think it's based on a book series. It was just all right. It just got weird. Really weird. Um, 18, no, 1924, is that what it's called? Comes back this Sunday. I'm super excited. I love that show, the Yellowstone prequel. Helen Mirren, is that her name? Helen Mirren is amazing. Her character is amazing in that show, and she's amazing. Like, I just, like, I can't get over how amazing she is. Harrison Ford. I mean, who doesn't love Harrison Ford? I hope they have more Yellowstone spinoffs because I really, really like those spinoffs. I think they're better than the actual show. And I like the show. All right, so what have you guys been watching this week? Tell me in the comments. Um... Melissa Gregory. Wait, 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 wait. What did I miss? Where did you say what the name of it? Gypsy Rose? Oh, watch the act. Okay, where do we watch the act? Melissa. And Bad Sisters on Apple TV. Okay. Um, did I have the wing to sell it, Jody? I totally forgot. Um, Do you watch YouTube channels? No, I don't even know what that is, Lisa. YouTube channels. What is this you speak of? Another thing I have to subscribe to? I mean, ugh, tired of all the subscribing. It's a lot. I had YouTube TV for a brief moment when our internet was out because we got a new roof. Anyways, long story. Um, and I really don't... Want to subscribe to anything else? All right, I'm using Petal Pink on the bottom of our little gnome house. Super cute. How many times have I said super cute today? It's quite a bit, I think. Sorry. Do you guys watch Hoda and Jenna on NBC? Hoda says, wait, what? She says that two or three times every day. And now that I've noticed it, I, it's annoying me. So, and I love Hoda. And so now I'm like, what do I say like that? I'm sure there's some things that I say over and over and over again. Okay, soft suede. Soft suede. Or is this crumb cake? No, this is soft suede. And then it's a lot of silence to fill when you're coloring on a Facebook Live. There's a lot of, a lot of silence, you guys, that I have to fill. I always try to think of stories. I have no stories to tell you this week. Thanks, Carol. <laughs> Why women kill? <laughs> oh, yeah, I've heard of that one. Mayor of Kingstown. I've heard of that many times. That just doesn't look... Ugh. Heather, that 90s show. So, okay, I have seen that a lot on. Um, and... I don't know. I didn't watch that 70s show. So will I still like it? I'm not sure. But I've heard several people say it was funny. Balmy blue flowers. And let me just fill in this. Boop, 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 boop. Done. Okay. Now, a lot of coloring we did. Where's the Wink of Stella? Who knows? Where did it go? It's somewhere here. I really wanted to use it, but now I'm thinking we've got to move on. Wink of Stella, where did you go? Oh, come on. You guys, I need a bigger table and I need an assistant during my Facebook lives. Hold on, I'm looking for another one. Is it right there where I can see it, where I can't see it? I don't see it. I found another one. You have to put Wink of Stella on this heart. It's just the cutest. And you might as well put it on his hat too. And then run it off on your paper because it'll pick up a little bit of that red. 
And now we just want to do white. So if you don't run it off, then your little, little dots will be pink. Okay, cut and emboss machine, we're almost done. This weekend, what do you guys have planned? Guess what we have planned? More basketball. More basketball. I actually love watching my daughter play basketball for her school, but last Sunday was, now I've lost the dies. You guys, what is happening? Okay, everybody just take a deep breath. <laughs> okay, here they are. Everybody stay calm. Just stay calm. I will, I will get through this. Um, but this weekend, this weekend is, we start, well, we have to go see the boyfriend play basketball. And not, he's not the boyfriend. I shouldn't call him that, but he's a boy and he's a friend. And we've never gone to see any other boys play basketball. But anyway, and then we're going to do club trials. Blah, I hate club season. Only because it's so far away. The practices, the games, they're just far as far as they can be from where we where we live. Okay, so we've got the conversation bubble. The one thing I don't like really about these dies is that it cuts out two. Now, okay, I will I will say my friend Cindy, if she's watching, she's made some amazing cards with a conversation bubble already. And if you use it together, it gives that texture, and that's really cool. But if you have to cut 250 or 300 of these, and you only need that part, Denise, right? It's a lot. These things get annoying. I guess it's, that's not normal use of dies to cut 300 of something. But I will use it. If, if Cindy's on here, I promise to use it the way it's intended at some point. All right, put your little cutie right here. Here's another sentiment. A very non-committal Valentine sentiment. Hello. <laughs> Middle schoolers wouldn't even say that much to each other. It would be a bruh. That that we need a why doesn't the stamp set have one that says bruh or bet or sus? They speak in these weird one syllable like caveman words. Who has middle schoolers? You guys know. We made it. You guys, I only coughed 87 times. And I only lost 14 things. But we made it. <laughs> Thanks for hanging with me today, you guys. I have some other things I want to show you real quick. But I just want to remind you before you leave that if you would like these three projects as a make and take kit for free, put your order in by Monday at midnight. You can order anything you want as long as it's at stampedup.com, you have me as your demonstrator and it has that host code, then here's the host code, I'll pull it down. Then you will get them next week. I, I mail them usually on Wednesday, okay? All right, now Monday, I will have this card. I was gonna do this card for Facebook Friday, but then I realized I would have to cut all those hearts out for each kit. And I decided not to. <laughs> but look, I used the other guy little flowers in his beard isn't he cute look they're like looking at each other and that says love you so if that's very that is very gushy I don't know if you could use that with middle schoolers and then I have some swaps this one is from Lonnie um this is cute this is using that um that um dandy designs designer series paper let's see on the inside she's stamped cute I like a belly band on a card see if I can get that back in. All right. And then this is another swap card from, oh, Dina. You guys know Dina. Very cute with a gingham. There's a gnome one better than you. She put the sentiment inside. Look, that's cute. I hadn't even noticed that stamp. And look, it's right there. Sometimes I don't see the little stamps. That's very cute, Dina. Oh, and there's mine. Okay. That's it. That's all I have for you today, you guys. Have a wonderful weekend. I will see you next Friday with three Love Cat projects. Be on the lookout for that carrot, bunny and carrot class. It'll come out sometime in the next two or three days. Okay? All right, you guys. Talk to you next week. Thanks for joining me.
Bye.